Hi everyone. In this video, I would like to talk about how we can restart or reboot the servers once in a week using restart schedule feature in the delivery group. So in a Citrix production environment, uh, we may have to restart the Citrix servers once in a week or once in 10 days. It's a maintenance activity we do over the weekends. So it's for the better performance of the server or if you have installed any applications, you may have to restart the servers during this time. So you can schedule this activity uh, using this uh, feature, which is in the delivery group. I will show that in a minute. So you have to launch the studio console and on the left hand side, you see delivery groups. Once you go to delivery groups, uh, just right click on it. Once you right click on it, you see an option called edit delivery group. Click on edit delivery group. Once you click on it, you see an option called restart schedule on the left hand side. I'm going to show that in a minute. So in some environments, you know, people like to restart the servers once in a week, especially on Sundays or Saturdays, or some people like to do it once in 10 days. So it depends upon the customer requirement. Okay, so on the left hand side, you see an option called restart schedule here. Okay, click on restart schedule. So it shows something like, do you want to restart machines automatically? Okay, by default, no is selected. Uh, you can select yes. And you see the restart frequency here. Do you want to restart the service daily? Every Sunday, every Monday, every Tuesday, every Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, depends upon your requirement. So I would like to select every Sunday. So at what time you would like to start this activity? Let's say at 10 a.m. in the morning. Okay, 10 a.m. in the morning. Okay, restart duration. Do you want to restart all machines at the same time? Let's say you have like six servers in this delivery group. Do you want to restart all servers at the same time? Or do you want to restart all machines within 30 minutes? Or do you want to restart all machines within one hour? So if you select restart all machines within one hour, if you have like six machines, then every 10 minutes, the server would get restarted. Okay. So first server gets restarted in restarted in 10 minutes. The second server gets restarted in the 20th minute and the third server in 30th minute like that. So let's say if you want to restart all machines within three hours and if you have like six six servers. So in this particular scenario, every server gets restarted in 30 minutes because you have three hours time here. And if you have six servers, every server gets restarted in 30 minutes. OK, so do you want to send notification to the users? So by default, do not send a notification is selected. So if you would like to send a notification before you restart the service, you can just uh, send it five minutes before user is logged off. You can say something like, dear users, the server is getting restarted in the next five minutes due to a maintenance activity. Kindly save your work and log off. Something like that. OK, so dear users, the server is getting restarted in the next five minutes due to a maintenance activity. Kindly save your work and log off. So you can just cross check all the details. So every Sunday at 10 a.m. Uh, restart all missions within three hours time and uh, five minutes before the user is logged off. You can send a notification message. So you can just click apply. And you can click. Once once you click apply. It says, please wait. So once this uh, policy, once this uh, feature gets activated, all the servers in this uh, delivery group would get restarted every Sunday. And also, if someone asks you during the time of the interview why every every Monday or every Sunday all the servers are getting restarted one after the other, then it means that this policy has been activated. So this is one of the interview questions you know you might come across. So 
yeah it's quite tricky so please be ready to answer this question okay it is taking a while so please bear with me so this is like a, this this is how I, I would like to send message to the users but if you have some other message that you would like to write and send it to users you can also do it so yeah but please do that in a polite way that is really important so this policy applies only for this particular delivery group like if you have like i don't know four or five delivery groups you can apply this particular policy or this feature to individual delivery groups okay it's taking a while i think it is almost there so maintenance activities are quite common in any environment you know you may have to restart the servers once in a while so this is uh, one of the activities and the other activity is uh, on any uh, windows uh, related server you may have to push windows patches or windows updates you call it or the security updates so you have to do it on the servers so for that once the windows updates have been pushed to the servers uh, we may have to restart the servers yeah so that's all that is also one of the reasons why we may have to reboot the servers let's give let's give a few minutes time it is definitely doing something so if you see the options on the right hand side uh, you can add applications you can edit the delivery group if you if you want to make any changes you can manage tags if you want to keep the delivery group itself under maintenance mode you can do it here and if you want to rename the delivery group to something else you can do it so right now the name of the delivery group is finance department windows os if you want to change it you can uh, change the name of the delivery group if you want to remove delivery group, delivery group you can do it if you want to view machines if you want to view applications you can also do it if you want to test the delivery group you can also click this option to test the delivery group everything looks okay for whatever reason it's taking time to apply this policy if it fails it should throw some kind of error message all right seems like uh, it has uh, finished let me check once again okay let me click ok and see how it goes all right it seems like the policy has been applied let's just cross check once okay I'm going to right click on this click on edit delivery group okay seems like it is coming up slowly all right let's go and check whether this has been applied or not okay when i clicked on restart schedule i see that uh, the options that have that have that i have selected before do you want to restart machines automatically it is yes restart frequency every sunday 10 a.m in the morning restart all machines within three hours five minutes before user is logged off and everything has been uh, saved properly properly and the policy has been applied so every sunday at 10 a.m the servers should restart one after the other so i hope you find this uh, information helpful thank you for watching if you like this video please like and subscribe to the channel talk to you soon Bye bye